Hello everyone, it is Gina from Vintage Digs again, and I am heading out to an estate sale this morning. I found it online, and it's through an estate sale company that I like to go to their sales because their prices are fair reasonable. They're a little high, but you know, not compared to some of these people. So I like going to their sales. Um, they didn't have a lot of pictures, so I'm kind of, you know, flying blind right now, hoping they're going to have some cool stuff. So I'm going to head out that way and hopefully we'll find something cool. Um, trying to get there early so I'm one of the first ones in. And maybe, just maybe, I can take you guys along with me. Maybe it won't be too crowded, but you know how it is the first day when it opens. It gets a little, a little crazy here and there. I did see there was a couple other sales uh, today that... Has some, you know, decently cool looking stuff. So maybe everybody's going to hit those first and leave me alone and let me hit this one. So, <clears throat> fingers crossed. I only had a half a cup of coffee before I left this morning. So there could be road rage involved. Just saying. But I'm trying to be pleasant right now. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Going to try to go hit that up and see what happens so i'll see you on the flip side okay so that was not a great estate sale i've got a you know on a scale of one to ten i would give it a four maybe i did pick up a few pieces of glass because you know, not like i need any glass but i did get some it was it's like the cobalt uh blue glass so there was a couple of pieces that are different and interesting so I did go ahead and get those but I really didn't get a whole lot I spent a lot but I didn't get a lot you know first day of estate sales always the most expensive and I tried to get them to give me a deal but they wouldn't do it They're like it's first day and I was like I know <laughs> I still need a deal <laughs> so I did pick up two bar stools for myself um, they were 15 bucks a piece, but they're kind of cool. They're like the wooden ones, you know, the plain wooden bar stools with the round top to go up my kitchen bar, but somebody had put, um, I forgot who they signed it, but they've got, um, artwork on top of it. And one was a dolphin fish and the other was a sea turtle. So, and it was my colors. So. And I've been wanting a couple of little bar stools just to throw up there for people to sit up there every once in a while. So, I picked those up. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I was... They had some Christmas blow-up stuff, you know, to put out front. But, they were still a little expensive. I mean, they were like 40 bucks a piece. They were bigger ones. And I know those sell for, at Walmart, the ones they had sell for about 100 bucks new. So I was like, I might go back there on their last day and see if they still have those, because I'll get those for me. But, uh, I don't know if I'll make another trip over there just for that. So, anyway, I decided since I was out and about, and that was kind of a disappointment, that I am stopping by Salvation Army. So, I'm sitting here waiting for them to open. They don't open for like another... About 20 minutes. I was here early. But it is entertaining because I'm sitting here watching all these people pull up and go up there and try to open the doors. Because apparently people don't read anymore. I don't I don't know. But they keep going up to the door and pulling on the door and looking like, why does the door not open? Because it's locked. Oh, why do you think I'm sitting in my car right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is not the local hangout just to sit in your car. So, now I'm watching a lady over here looking through, peering through the windows and window shopping. I love people watching. It's, it's very interesting. So, anyway, I'll try to get you a little footage in here. That other thing, I mean, the state set was so slam-packed full. It was a tiny, tiny little place. And they only had a few rooms of the house open because the guy 
it wasn't doing like a complete estate sale. It was a partial estate sale. The guy's still living there. So he had several rooms closed off. There was the garage was closed off. Two of the bedrooms were closed off. So all you had essentially was like the living room, the kitchen, and one bedroom to go through. And there was a ton of people there. So they wouldn't let me in in the beginning because, you know, I was like 10th back in line. They weren't going to let so many people in. So I had to stand out there and watch as people were bringing things out that I might have potentially wanted, which is heartbreaking. But I couldn't, didn't really want to film in there. There was too many people. I try to keep other people out of my videos, you know, don't want to upset anybody. So it was pretty much impossible. So I'm going to try to get you a little bit of footage in here in Salvation Army today if I can. See if there's anything cool that we can pick up. I haven't been finding a lot at this store lately, so... We'll see what happens. If this one is um, a flop today, then I'm probably going to hit the antique mall either today or tomorrow. See what I can find. So, anyway. Plus, I've got another estate sale that's really good to go to tomorrow. I bet those prices are going to be ridiculous because they've got some really cool stuff. Like, I saw in the pictures, there's a... Um, one of the little miniature punch bowl sets with the little tiny cups. And I want to say, I don't, I couldn't tell from the picture if it's amberine or if it was just the ruby red glass. But I was like, oh. I saw that in the picture and I was like, oh, I got to go. So I have no idea of the price. It's probably like a hundred bucks or something ridiculous. So I'm going to go check it out tomorrow anyway, because it's not like crazy far. And just see what I can find. But anyway. Let's see what we can get in here, okay? So, I just kind of wanted to walk around and shoot a little bit of footage for you guys. <clears throat> All their pictures and everything were, was half off. So, I kind of glanced through those. I've got a ton of pictures that I haven't done anything with. So, <laughs> I don't need to pick up any more art of any kind. It was kind of slim pickings, though. They haven't restocked their shelves. And I wasn't finding, you know, a whole lot of stuff. I'd already picked up. Uh, nutcracker and um, another glass piece. I can't even remember what I picked up now. Oh, I believe it was that high Z glass. So as you see, I mean, they've got plenty of clear glass. They always do. But there was just not a whole lot of anything else. Again, it was kind of a disappointing day. I was just picking up little things here and there, but nothing I was just like crazy, crazy happy about. This is probably as empty as I've seen these shelves in the store. And they color coordinate on their shelves. Like they put all the black kind of stuff together, all the purple together, that kind of thing. Then any of the metal stuff they kind of put together there. So I went over to kind of hit up the Christmas section again. There was a lot of people in it before when I was in there, over there, uh, before I started filming. So I went back to see if there's anything I missed. This was just goofy. <laughs> it was on the springs. I had to play with it a little bit. I went around to this side and I was kind of just filming everything and I had a lady stop me while I was looking at things to ask me what I was doing. <laughs> she wasn't rude about it. She was just, you know, she wondered what I was doing. They had four boxes of those cups there, but I was going to get those for eBay, but they're really not selling, so... Ended up leaving it. Then I found these cute little North, uh, Department 56 North Pole series. Have a seat elf, so I picked those up. Oh, I have a left in piece in there too. I picked that up. And I went over there. I had to go over and look at this crazy looking. I guess it's supposed to be Mrs. Claus, but she was creepy. I'm going to give you a close-up. Look at her. She looks more like a witch. I don't know who did that, but her hair was coming off and it was all crazy. She had like bedhead. 
Well, I actually done the walk of shame. <laughs> I was kind of doing a hand signal there like, oh my gosh, this is just weird. You kind of throw all your silver together in these big tubs that you have to search through if you want to find anything, or flatware, I should say. And then they have a sink. I don't, I guess somebody would come in there and buy a sink, but I just thought that was kind of a little bizarre. And yeah, kind of looking at some of the art in there, and coming back around to where I'd been before. I just couldn't find much of anything in the store today. Or actually, that was yesterday. Well, it is 11.30. I am the first one here. I'm about to go 11.30. 7.30. I'm the first one here, and I'm about to go stand at the door so I can be the first one in. Wish me luck. So in this first bedroom, they had <clears throat> all these coats on the floor that I looked at. And I come back around to look at them again because it turns out they're... Uh, riding gear like for motorcycle riding and i know some of that stuff can be very expensive so i kind of how much is interested it interested in that and then somebody left their drink on the table okay. how big is it um they had some roundabout there that i looked at it was all like way way expensive i mean like one piece of carnival glass he had marked for like 35 dollars it was crazy expensive. So I'm kind of feeling he's probably going to have a lot of this left. I did end up picking up a few things. Now I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. I got all this. What's in this bag right here? More junk back there. It's like, oh my gosh, what is my issue? I have no idea what's wrong with me, guys. It's like, <laughs> I think I have a problem. I'm sweating because it got hot in there. And so I look a fright. I apologize. But you know how it is when you're doing this. So anyway, I got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of Christmas stuff. I did end up getting the little miniature punch bowl set, the carnival glass miniature punch bowl set. And I had to pay way up for it. Let me put it this way. He had it marked $65. I talked him down some. I don't know what I'm doing. What is wrong with me? It was so cute. I had to get it. I've got to show it to you guys. I mean, it's kind of like if somebody wants it, I'm, I'm going to probably end up selling it for essentially what I paid for it because I have no use for it but I couldn't leave it there it was just too adorable so I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> so I got a bunch of Christmas stuff there was some older Christmas stuff like in the boxes that I've got to go through and even see what's in there because there's some newer stuff mixed in too so I have no idea what's in them it was kind of like a mystery box that I'm gonna go through and then uh I don't even know what else I bought. <laughs> I'm so lost right now. So I'm going to have to pull it all out and show you guys what I did end up getting with a little haul from yesterday and today. I'm going to combine the two because, you know, it doesn't make sense for me to do one short little video from yesterday and then a short video from today. So I'm just going to combine yesterday and today's together and show you what I got for both days. So that greenery right there that's a collapsible christmas tree i got from myself to go on my porch when am i going to have time to even do anything with this at least it's collapsible i don't have to put the branches in you know what i mean i just have to like stick the pole in it and stand it up so <sighs> 
thought I was saving time by doing it, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm about to head towards my house so I can kind of go through some of this stuff and show you guys what I got. I think there's some German Christmas stuff in these boxes because the lady was German. I did pick up a couple of German items while I was in there. So, I got one book that I don't even know what it says. But it's an older book, and it had a funny cover on it, and it looks like it's probably some kind of comedy. I'm going to have to do, like, Google Translate. So, anyway. Like I said, sorry for my appearance. I didn't get makeup or anything on. I took a shower last night. My hair is just, like, dried wherever it was at the time. And I got bags in my eyes because I was up at 6 o'clock to try to get up and get ready to get to this garage sale or this estate sale. So, don't look at me. Just, I'll show you all the pretties, and you can just ignore me. So, really cool guy. He worked with me on a few things here and there. I got a ton. See, this is what I'm talking about. I've lost my mind. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to shut up. I got a ton of motorcycle gear. Like, the coats and the pants and all that stuff with the back plates and stuff in them. But he made me such a good deal on it. I had to get it. I have a few friends that ride motorcycles. So, I might see if they can use any of it and just give it to them. Uh, if not, I'll probably end up putting some of it on eBay. Because that stuff is kind of expensive. I mean, some of those coats, like, new are $300. So, I'm going to see what I can do with it. Hopefully my friends will want it and they can use it because I would rather it go to them anyway. So anyway, I'm about to start driving. I still have coffee left I brought with me this morning so I'm about to pound that really quick and then I'm going to get home and shoot a quick little haul video to let you see what kind of mess I'm in because I wasn't already looking enough like a hoarder. Let me add more to it. But anyway, I'm going to be end up having a large Christmas sale very soon because I've got so much stuff I've got to have a Christmas sale I can't even use it all honestly I mean it I bought a few things for myself that I'm probably gonna end up selling just because I have no place to store it all year long I've got these freaking humongo garlands they're like the old ones. You probably know what I'm talking about. They're like on the plastic like link system kind of thing. Like chain link. They're chained together. That I got. And I got those because I was like, oh, these would probably cover the entire front of my house. I have no place to put that. It was a great idea at the time, but, uh, hello, idiot. What are you going to do with it? So, I'm probably going to end up selling that. So, if any of you guys need, like, it's like holly and berries. So, if you guys need any of that, I'm probably going to end up putting that in a Christmas sale. Because I can't store all this stuff. Even though I like it, I can't store it all. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up because I'm already driving. And I will see you guys in just a little while. Okay, guys. So this is pretty much most of the stuff I picked up over the past couple of days. There may be a few things still in boxes, but this is the majority of it. So I got this really cool. In fact, I have two of these. It's a tablecloth. Vintage tablecloth with a fringe around it. With the nice metal woven mesh bags. It doesn't have the liner in it. I think it's supposed to have like a velvet liner, but I'm sure that was gone a long time ago. But it is still a nice bag. These little blue glass uh, figures. This cool German book, which I've done a little research on. I guess it's a book of comedy. This little lamp with, it's like an old souvenir piece with the seashell, uh, half of the conch shell and the... Um, Crucifix. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did end up getting the little carnival punch bowl set. This is the black amethyst carnival in uh, Rosso or Rosso. They did glass for several companies. 
but this one is actually marked by them for them. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is so clogged up. Um, so it's a really pretty little miniature punch bowl set. I did pay up a little, quite a bit for this, but I had to grab it. It's in perfect condition. And then I got a whole box full of Christmas stuff here. I've been kind of going through and pulling out the stuff I thought you guys would like. Some of the vintage uh, ornaments. <clears throat> One of the fold-out metal things made in Japan. Some little miniature pipe cleaner ornaments. Really cute. Um, some old mistletoe. A bunch of little velvet and all, you know, different kinds of ornaments in there. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. Some of the satin ornaments. This is a whole bag of German wood uh, ornaments. A kissing ball. There's a couple music boxes down in there. There's just a lot. There's a lot in here. <laughs> really cool stuff. And then from there, I also have... This old Christmas garland, tinsel garland from uh, Germany. Actually, I think it was marked like West Germany. Let me see. It's on here somewhere. I saw it when I was looking at it in there. This is flame proof. Uh, yes, made in Western Germany. So I got two boxes of that. My old pencil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I got this little vintage tree topper girl. I think she's really cute. I got uh, some left in pieces Christmas. I got that Department 56. It's got a bunch of little elves in it. Thought that was really cool. Here's another vintage tree topper with the angel and the foil stars and some fluff there. Two uh, of the old handmade crocheted stockings, which I thought were really pretty. And I got all these vintage picks. There's some clowns and all kinds of stuff in there. I hadn't really gone through it. And a piece of Heise glass there with the amethyst color on it. That is an old cake and pastry decorating set. It is still new in the box and sealed up. So I had to grab that because I've never seen one sealed up before. So I thought well, that was pretty awesome. Got a nutcracker here. And then this cute little snowman girl. I think she's precious. And then I got this lamb mold. And it's one of the bigger ones. And it is a very nice thick metal. It is an old piece. Um, this guy said his mother used to do all kind of baking and candy making and all that kind of stuff. So this is one of her pieces. And so it is a pretty old piece. I thought that was pretty awesome. And then some of these old vinyl type tablecloths for like picnics. I got this because the graphics on it's amazing. It's got the old ketchup bottle, old mustard bottle, pies, all kinds of stuff on there. I just thought it was really cool looking. Olives, etc. Then I got these two old uh, candles with the lights on them. Like plastic candles for outdoors with the lights on them. And knocking this poor guy over. And then I got several of like a cobalt blue color glass pieces. I mean, this is like the aquarium type with the fish inside of it. But the rest of them, but it had a lot of blue in it. But the rest of it's the cobalt blue. A little hand on nest. A little decanter. A cat. A little miniature like candy dish with the bird on top. Liberty Bell, which is um, iridescent, little blue fish, and then the whale. And then rounding it out, I got this nice blue basket. And then I got these books, which this is the Learn How book. And it's from 1941. But it's got some really interesting pictures in it. That's why I picked that up because it does give you how-tos on how to do things, but it's got some really nice pictures of like, you know, the fashion back then. Oh, she's beautiful, huh? Anklets. That's different than what we think of as an anklet. 
but I just liked all the pictures and stuff, and I thought it was really interesting. But it does also teach you how to crochet, knit, tatting, embroidery. You know, like we talked about before, kind of a lost art form. And then I got the Kitchen Capers cookbook. Again, loved this little guy. Thought he was amazing. But this one is not as old. This is from 1970. Still pretty old. Still older than me, but, you know. But again, I like the pictures in it. There's some good old recipes in here, too. So I decided to grab it. Look at him. <laughs> And then finally, I got this uh, Betty Crocker's picture cookbook. I nearly dropped it. It does have some wear on it, some age. It's like they've got some tape here on the spine. But I don't care. This is one of the best cookbooks ever. If you don't have one of these, you need to get it. Even though it's old, it's got great recipes, especially for baking. Great book. I've had one of these for years and years and years, and I would not get rid of it for anything. I'm trying to see what year this one is from. I'm not seeing it on this page. Let's see, they've got extra recipes they've cut out and put in here. Cocktails and canapes. My dog's on the bark now. Second edition, fourth printing. Um, 1956. Right there. From General Mills. So, again, fantastic cookbook. So, if you don't have one of these... In your kitchen and you like to cook then you I definitely would advise to get one they're great I mean there's extra stuff in here she's put in here which whoever buys it they can take that stuff out but I always leave that because I find it interesting Mardi Gras cake I mean there's all kinds of stuff but it's a really cool book like I said it is a binder type which I love and <clears throat> it does show does have a little wear on the spine where they've taped it back together, but otherwise it's in decent condition. And so I had to pick that one up as well because you don't see those real often. When I find the Betty Crocker cookbooks, especially the picture one, I grab it because I think they're great. So that's pretty much. Oh, I did that. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much everything that, or most everything that I got. Here's that cake decorating a pastry set I was going to show you. Originally, it was $9 back in the day. That's pretty expensive. But look, it's new. It's got plastic on it. The other tips right there just fell out from where it was supposed to be. I thought that was nice that it was still new in the package. Rarely do you find them like that. I mean, you can find them in the box, but rarely do you find them where they haven't even opened it. So that's why I grabbed that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what I picked up. Got a lot of interesting things, I think. And I will be having the sale very soon. Cat's been kind of under the weather, so we've delayed. But I am going to have a Christmas sale very, very soon because I have not only this Christmas, I have a bunch more. So I'm going to have to do that really soon. And plus I've got... You know, this new glass that I picked up as well. And there's my dog asleep on the couch. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed me. Uh, the little bit of footage I could grab for you guys while I was shopping. I'm trying to get better about that. So, have a beautiful, wonderful day. Offer a smile up to somebody like I always say. And I will join you guys very, very soon. I can't wait. Look forward to it. Love all you guys. Have a great one.